consider r um, to be uh, the interval AB uh, times interval CD, and this really just means a set of all points of the form XY, where X is between A and B, and Y is between C and D. Um, let f of X comma Y be a function of two inputs, two, in two input variables. And we saw this double integral, so yeah, the double integral over the region R of the function f of X comma Y, dA, is the volume under the graph of this function. Um, and, you know, we c we saw that it can be approximated using these Riemann um, sums. It, it's now just a sum of little volumes. Uh, the, the individual volumes would be rectangular prisms. Uh, but we could compute exactly using an iterated or iterative integral. So um, for instance, uh, let's say, so x is from 1 to 5 and y is from 3 to 8. So you'll notice the inner integral dx uh, from 1 to 5, and then the outer thing is the dy that goes from 3 to 8. Okay, so um, we've already seen things like this where we should just focus on what's on the inside. Here we integrate using x as the variable. Um, and instead of really digging into so much of exactly the computation, which was last time, I just want to talk through kind of what, what we should be thinking of with what's going on here. So um, what we should be thinking of for this inner integral that's inside the parentheses, we ought to think like, you know, for a fixed y value, for just a typical y that's somewhere between 3 and 8, then the integral 1 through 8, again, y is fixed, right? Think of y as really being constant. We should be thinking of integrating uh, y times x cubed for x going from 1 through 5. It really is trying to say sum up, you know, add up certain values. Um, so along this, you know, okay, here's a y value that's between 3 and 8 on the y-axis, and you see this red line. So all along this line, pick up, you know, so here for a specific y value, you, you know, like maybe x is 1, so 1 comma y, and then maybe 2 comma y, and 2.2 comma y, and so on. So all along this red line, pick up values of f of x comma y. Right, so for a fixed, yeah, for a fixed y value, it's that's that's what's going on. It's like it's normally we'd integrate down here, but you know if it were calc one, but now that we've got this plane to integrate over, we this is we're picking up all the values of f of x comma y as you move along this red line. Okay, um, so here here's the computation form of this now is that for a fixed y. Um, if we integrate x cubed y, we'll have x to the fourth over four times still a y, and then we can plug in y is, f sorry, x is five and x is one. So um, in the end, we're trying to integrate from three to eight, um, 124 over four times y, and that, that ends up being 31, uh, 31y. So then uh, 31y squared over two, evaluated at eight and at three. So this ends up being 31 over 2 times the quantity 8 squared minus 3 squared. Let's now examine the integral from 2 to 3 of the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of x squared cosine of y dy dx. Notice that this integral that we're about to do ends dy dx instead of the one that we just did that ended dx dy. So this inner integral in this new example is going to be dy, right? So the outer differential is dx. The outer differential dx corresponds to the outer integral sign from 2 to 3. The inner one, um, y, goes from 0 to pi over 6. Yeah, so it just we just want to clear up what, what's x values and what's y values. OK, so let's go ahead and look at this integral. So we should integrate. Um, so here, think, so focusing on what's on the inside, we won't draw the parentheses like last time. But y is the variable, meaning x is constant. So we just copy x squared and then anti-differentiate cosine of y to sine of y. And we need to evaluate at pi over 6 and at 0, right? So we'll plug those in. Um, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Uh, sine of 0 is 0. Um, so I guess this second term is gone. So we just have the integral of x squared over 2 from x equals 2 to 3. So x cubed over 6 evaluated at 3 and 2. So it's 1 6 times the quantity 3 cubed minus 2 cubed. I would uh, ask you to try computing um, the integral uh, from negative 1 to 6 of the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the function y times sine of x dx dy on your own. The number that you get will be used uh, later um, in, in these slides.